Hello, welcome back to the final part in this series on how to record your animations from Unity into a couple of different formats. In this last one, let's go ahead and switch over to it. We are going to get right into it. This is the wrong one. Whoops. This one. We're going to learn how to output a 360 video, which you can use interactively inside of YouTube and a bunch of other places in your Google Cardboard, uh, in virtual reality, a lot, of, a lot of different ways to experience 360 video. All right, so in the last video, we made a, a GIF file, and then for that, we made an MP4 file, an HD output to YouTube. And this last one, um, again, we got the recorder open, and we got this from the Unity Asset Store here for free just by importing it and got to this window by going to Window, General, Recorder, Recorder Window. Okay, so we're gonna add a new recorder up here and choose Movie this time. Now, you could do this with just a still, but we're gonna make a 360 video. So I'm gonna double click on this new recorder and just type in 360 video. Okay, and there are a lot of different formats of 360 video, but I'll just show you uh, with the default here. So on capture, we need to change capture to 360 view, okay? And it's gonna be using the same camera, our main camera, but it's gonna sort of give a different look from that camera and output it in a different way. So that we'll actually get a 360 video that we can output to share with people in VR. All right, so again, we're gonna change the file name as well as the recorder. I'm gonna call it 360 video. Okay, and I do wanna append that wildcard of take, just in case we wanna output this out multiple different times, we can. Um, and we wanna use the extension. Make sure we had that on, I don't think we had that on the last one. Make sure the extension's on there. Okay. Um, we didn't need the frame on that first one either. Kind of come back over things I said wrong in the other videos. We didn't need frame here because we're outputting a video. Um, you can actually export out as frames also if you don't, actually make it an mp4 file. So on this video right here, if we changed our format. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a, it used to be that way with recorder. They added it as a new recorder now as image sequence. So that would be another one we could do. So if you wanted to actually export out each frame as a separate file, which is good for post-processing and other things. You can do that as well. <laughs> Didn't realize we're gonna put that in here too, but yeah, image sequence is another good reason to use this, okay? Um, but back to the 360 video. Let's go here and just leave it a, a default. We got, a, we got it called 360 video with the take and the extension. And we're gonna output as MP4 again, and that's it. So 360 video. Make sure we got our time interval set right, our frame rate set right. So bump that back up to 30. Or we could even do 60. Let's do 60 this time. Because a lot of VR formats are 60 frames per second. All right, so there we go. Time interval, eight seconds. That's how much of an animation we have. And start recording. So that's going to take quite a bit longer to output this time because each frame takes a bit longer to render. We're doing it uh, at this exact resolution. It was just the default. And again, you want to check the specifications of wherever you're sending it to or sharing it with to make sure that you get the resolution and frame rates and everything set to the right specifications. Okay, so you can see down here at the bottom is our progress, how many frames it's rendered. And we'll go ahead and pop open this to check out what we've done throughout this series um, before this is output. So this is also exporting out some frames from our image sequence, looks like. Uh, and it will compile those 
into a video when it's done, hopefully. All right, so let's pull open just a web browser, and here's our, our GIF animation from earlier um, in two different resolutions. So here's the 480p version, which came out to about 16 megabytes. And the 240p version, the little bitty guy, is four and three quarters megabytes. So it depends on where you're sending it to. <clears throat> if you have a file size limitation, you might have to make it smaller or less frame rates, or less, a smaller frame rate so that your frames will fit. Depends. Okay, uh, and here's our MP4 file. Oops. That's the wrong one. That's the one that's rendering. This is the file. There we go. So here's the HD resolution one that we recorded in the first video. Looks much better, and you can see that motion blur applied onto them and everything looks pretty cool. All right, so Unity is still churning away on this in the background to create a 360 video. I'll go ahead and uh, just pause the video real quick here until that's done rendering, and then I'll show you the 360 video. Okay, so now it's finished rendering. Let's take a quick look at the resulting 360 video file. So I just double click to play this here in video player, and there we have it. So this could be used in VR applications so that you can look around while that camera movement's happening. Pretty cool that you can render that right out of Unity. And don't forget, you also have image sequence, um, which has a lot of different options you could use. Um, if you had texture sampling. So yeah, mainly this is used for EXR especially. You can use to do better compositing if you're going to export out things and then treat them later. Um, and that is it. That's all four of the recorders that you can use. Now, you can also use the Unity recorder to record animation clips. So these you know, silly animations that are happening here in the background um, were made inside of other programs, motion capture data and uh, Maya. But you could also re record yourself moving things around in Unity and record those as animation clips in here as well. Um, maybe I'll do another video on that later because that's quite a bit more entailed to do that. I just wanted to show how to render out videos and GIF files and 360 video files with your animations here from Unity. Um, I did not cover every single aspect of this. Like, for instance, you can actually save out your list as a preset. So all the things we just did here, we could save this out as a file into our assets. Um, and then you can use that in other projects, for instance. Mm -hmm. So the recorder setting preset. I could save all of these exactly how I want them to be and then bring it right over to a new project ready to export. Okay. If you have any questions at all uh, about the Unity recorder, uh, I would be happy to answer them for you. Please let me know in the comments on any of the videos and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Also, if you enjoy these videos, uh, please like and subscribe. Every time that happens or I get a nice comment, it always encourages me to keep going. So thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Come back and see us next time.